Good evening. This is Connor Tomlinson with Colonial Massachusetts 6 o'clock news. Today's top story looks to be the final chapter in the ongoing situation at Marymount. For days, colonists and Indians alike have reveled around a maypole erected by Thomas Morton. Increasing tensions between Morton's revelers and nearby Puritan colonists nearly erupted to violence earlier today. For more, let's go to our local correspondent, Andrew Strum. Hello, Connor. I am standing right now in Marymount, where just recently the Plymouth Militia took Thomas Morton into custody. After several rejected requests by Plymouth to stop the heretical festivities and the sale of weapons to Indians, Captain Standish led a force of armed men to Marymount in order to detain Morton. They were met with armed resistance from Morton's men, but from what I hear, no shots were fired. Thank goodness. Do we know how this standoff was able to come to an end with no bloodshed? Likely, Morton's men were either ordered to stand down for a peaceful negotiation, or were quite simply too drunk to use their weapons. Since then, authorities have taken down the maypole, and many of the revelers are leaving Marymount as we speak. Thank you, Andrew. Shortly after all this occurred, I was given a chance to speak with the man behind it all, Thomas Morton. Hello, Mr. Morton. I'm glad you can make it. I'm glad to be here. It's better than the stockades. First, let me ask you, what inspired you to do all this? I want to host a new kind of colony, free from the harsh conservatism of the Puritans. The Puritans are calling you a heretic and saying that you've gone native. I do admire the savages. In a way, they're much more civilized than some of our intolerant European friends. I think we could learn from them, but I'm far from a heretic. Can you tell us your version of what happened at Marymount? It's quite simple, really. Captain Shrimp showed up to my doorstep and demanded I yield. While my men could have easily destroyed them, I can't stand bloodshed. I agreed to come peacefully if they would not harm me or my property. Of course, as soon as the door was opened, Captain Shrimp and his men rushed in, beat me, and dragged me out to the stockades. What do you think will happen to you now? I'll probably be convicted by this kangaroo court, but I don't believe they can keep me in prison for long. They might try to ship me back to England or get rid of me quietly. You can catch the full interview tonight at 8 o'clock. That's all for the 6 o'clock news. I'll see you again for the news at 8. Until then, this is Connor Tomlinson with Colonial Massachusetts News.